Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian from USA.Patriot.Cards and today I want to talk about trades. Specifically, some trades that I've made in the past couple years and how my uh, collection has evolved. And also I want to point out that maybe right now in this market, trading is the best way to go for both sides. And when I say both sides, I mean the guy with the higher card and the guy with the lower cards. I don't know if you've noticed, but those big cards are getting slaughtered, right, at auction houses on eBay. Or they're just sitting there unsold because the price is too high. There's a story about a dealer, I think her name's Jaded Black Wolf. This was on Luca Nation Network today. She's, she bought a uh, Kobe Bryant logo man. I believe it was a one of one and I believe it was an auto. I didn't dive into the details of this. I know that she purchased it at the height, probably in the spring of 21, for $80,000, okay, 80K. She told this story and this is how I know. She recently sold that card at auction. I think it was at Golden in the last auction for 36. I don't think she netted 36. I think she netted somewhere around 33 or four because that's what she made it sound like, that she lost 45-ish K on this card, okay? I think, had she taken that Kobe, which I'm assuming is a 101, and had she made it available for trade, she could, she could have asked for 80K in trade value. That's what the last comp was, all right? This is not a silver that goes to market four or five times a day. It's a huge card, and these huge cards are getting beat up because people keep taking them to Golden, to PWCC, to Alt, okay? If you have one of those big cards and you want to get out of it, take a little time, trade down into smaller stuff that people can afford. It has to be liquid stuff. It has to be great. It has to be good stuff, right? But a lot of people have that stuff and are looking to trade up. I'm one of those people. Move into the smaller stuff and then piece that stuff out. And I promise you, you're going to get way further than if you just send that thing off to Golden and wait to see what comes back. Because I think if she'd have, if she'd have known she was only going to get around 33 net for that Kobe, I mean, how, how can you stomach a 45K loss like that? Especially when there was another exit strategy altogether. I like trading up because I'm into some of my cards for really, really cheap, right? And I can get into these big cards uh, for fractions of what they would cost me in real dollars. And I'll show you some of that as we talk about the trades that I've done. But let me start here. Back in 2018, I bought a Dak Prescott National Treasures RPA. I'll show it to you right here. Beautiful card has a piece of the star for twelve hundred bucks. I think it was uh, the off season of going into twenty nineteen. The Dallas Cowboys were on HBO's Hard Knocks, and they were getting a lot of buzz. And I had a guy reach out to me because I had floated it around for sale, um, and I sold it for eleven thousand PayPal. And this, this is a. 2019 Topps Chrome, Fernando Tatis, Green Refractor. At the time, I think the comp on this was around five. Maybe it was around six, because I remember thinking 17 is what I got for that DAC. Okay, so I went from $1,200, purchased a card, now I've got 11 k and this card, which I still have today. So I've yet to, you know, move this or turn it into cash so I still have that with that money I went and bought two of these these were going for 3500 each okay so now I have two of these and mm, what 4k all right that deal is done remember that deal next a friend of mine acquired this uh, Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott Holy Grail okay this National Treasures Acetate RPA, it's the 10th anniversary parallel. Low, uh, shield, one of one rookie auto, okay? 
gorgeous card. He got it raw. Um, there was like a little line in the back. One of those, it was more than just a line. It was a little deeper than that on these um, thicker cards that can sometimes happen. And then they seal over that. So it's not necessarily in the seal, but it's in the cardboard. Um, anyway, that, that was enough for me not to grade that card. I didn't want to grade that card the traditional way. But let me show you what I did to get that card from him. So I'm going to play this short video for you. These are all the cards that I gave to get into that Zeke. And then I sent that Zeke to PSA, but I graded it auto only. And the auto came back authentic PSA 10, authentic auto PSA 10. You can see it on the slab, I'll show you. But here's this video. So here's here's a recap of everything, just so you would know. So Luca rated rookie, ready to grade. Luca rated rookie, ready to grade. Luca prison base, ready to grade. These things are hot as fuck. Another pink ice, ready to grade. The blue metal Mahomes to 50, ready to grade. The um, collegiate contenders, also ready to grade. The Dax Silver, that is my cleanest one. Uh, the um, Zeke Vinyl to 5. The Game Used DAC to 10 NT. The 1 of 1 DAC, Romo, Dez, and Zeke. The Flawless Rookie. And anything Luca autoed is huge, and this is to 49. Solid offer, man, but you know that Zeke's a solid card, so hopefully we can get something done. Okay, now you can see that there were some good Lucas in there, right? But at the time, I think all that stuff comped out to around 6K. I wasn't in it anywhere close to that. I was probably in that stuff for, I don't know, 1,500 maybe, maybe two. Um, but that's what it took to get the Zeke. I Now I have the Zeke. I send it off to PSA. Here it is right now, back in its new fresh holder. So now I have this Zeke. I have this Fernando Tatis. I have two of these Refractor Bobby uh, Witt Jr. Uh, first Bowman Autos. And like I said, I bought the DAC for around 1200 and I was probably in the other cards for about fifteen, So that's about $2,700 in capital that I had to, to, to invest to start this process. All right. So I take this Zeke to a Dallas card show and I flip it for this Juan Soto first Bowman and a thousand dollars. So now I have the, the Juan Soto. I think I have about 5k now and I have the, here, I'll just put these here. I have these two cards. All right. Now, there's a trade night at my local card store, Sappy's. Shout out to Sappy's. I go to that trade night and I trade the Juan Soto, one of the Bobby Witt refractors, a base refractor Bobby Witt that I think was about, I want to say about a 1,000-ish, one, 1, and a CD Lamb base prism PSA 10 rookie. So I trade all that, you see it on screen, for this, okay? Now at the time, we valued this around 11K. It's a pop one. It's since a pop two, it's the SSP green, okay? The green auto. You don't see the green auto much in prison. You'll see the non-auto rookie, but the, the rookie green auto in prison is super short print. It's the auto version of like the blues and the reds that come out of retail. You know, the blue comes out of Walmart, the reds come out of Target. Um, the green auto comes out of, I think, just retail product, which doesn't affect the value. It's just a super, super short print Josh Allen rookie that not a lot of people know about, know what it is. I want between 15 and 20, probably 15 cash, 20 trade at the moment for this and I just haven't found the right deal so I'm holding it 
but you can see now how the initial purchase of the deck for 15, the purchase of everything I gave for the Zekert around, no, for sorry, the deck was 12. The purchase for everything that I gave for the Zeke was around 15. So if we're talking 27, now I have 5K in my pocket and this. Okay, so that's that's where that sort of trade tree ends. All right, and I'm going to get into some more trade trees. Okay, so the next trade I want to break down for you is how I ended up with this uh, really nice 2017 Prism Camo Patrick Mahomes rookie auto in a PSA 10. This camo is numbered out of 25. The best way I can do this is to work backward. Okay, so the way I acquired this card was for what you see here. This Josh Allen Silver Prism PSA 10 rookie. This Lamar Jackson Silver Prism PSA 10 rookie. This Lamar Jackson Camo PSA 10 rookie. And then the uh, Julio Rodriguez Refractor First Bowman Chrome Auto PSA 10 rookie. Okay. So each of those comped out to around 23, which is what I um, traded in to this Mahomes app. Let's start with the Josh Allen. For the Josh Allen, I traded online through Instagram, guy on Instagram. I gave the other Bobby Witt Jr. refractor that I had, right, from the DAC sale, and a first Bowman Tatis rookie auto PSA 10. You see those both here. Now those Allen Silvers and the Lamar Silvers for that matter, anything from 2018 football prism, the Silvers are super short print because you only got one silver per box. And the card set was 300 plus cards, right? The prism set. So if you bought a box of Hobby Prism, you get one silver. The chances of that silver being a rookie are low. The chances of that rookie being a quarterback are low. And the chances of that rookie quarterback silver coming back at PSA 10 are really low. And because a lot of them had centering issues and the pop count on both the Lamar Jackson and the Josh Allen are really low. So I believe when I traded both of those, the Allen silver was around 10.5 and the Lamar Jackson was around, I want to say 4 to 45. I can't remember um, which number. It was right in there. Um, okay, now the Lamar Jackson camo I purchased early on, probably in 2018 or 2019 at some point. And I want to say for around 250 bucks. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't much more than that. It was under 300 for sure. And I graded that. So I was into that card super cheap, graded it, came back at 10. Uh, I believe the value in that was around 4,500. And then on the Julio Rodriguez, um, that was a purchase and I think it had gone up. I purchased that before the baseball season uh, started when he uh, last year. Uh, and so I think I doubled my money on that one. And then how I acquired the Lamar Jackson silver rookie was um, a upper deck 1989 Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, which is a PSA 10. I bought that way before the boom for around 400 bucks. I flipped it in this deal at a trade value of around 2K. I gave a Ronaldo Kaboom PSA 10, which I had pulled out of the Panini points packs, the White Sparkle points packs back in 2018, and a Kyler Murray Blue Ice uh, that I have no idea where I got it, how I got it, but it was just in the deal. I ended up getting Lamar Jackson at $250 there. And that's how the Pat Mahomes was born. I uh, used a lot of cards that I had gotten cheap before the boom to move into things that helped me move into things that ultimately helped me move into this. Um, and so I think, like I said before, if I took the total um, of what it cost me to get into this, it was around 14 and I think it's probably comping around 25 at this point.
I could really talk about trades all night long and, and I have a lot more deals to get through and cards to talk about but uh, I'm gonna end this video with this last trade and then I'll just pick up tomorrow and tomorrow's video and talk about some of the other trades that I did to show you kind of how I took my collection from here and evolved it into what it is now um, it's fun to go back and piece everything together and see you know part of this deal and then part of this deal made this deal and then part of that deal and then so forth and so on but uh, this last trade I want to talk about is the only time that I can remember that I took the bigger card and traded down now the card I'm, I'm talking about is this 2016 National Treasures Patrick Mahomes glove patch auto out of 25 with the Adidas patch right here really beautiful card uh, I was able to get a 20k value for it and I traded it into these four cards that you see here the Jason Tatum Optic PSA 10 White Sparkle the uh, Josh Allen Contenders 95 the Green Crystals Josh Allen Prism and the Neon Pulsar Justin Herbert PSA 10 Rookie Auto now um, the reason I wanted to get off of this Mahomes and I did this in the off season no Let's see. It was the middle of the season last season, okay, when his stuff was still pretty high before they lost to the Bengals in the playoffs and his stuff kind of dropped and people were asking, is he even a top five quarterback? I mean, that was really happening before this season. People were asking, is he really a top five quarterback? I think he's proven that he's definitely number one. But anyway, I traded this because it was a glove patch. And typically glove patches... And football cards don't do well. I understand it's my homes. I understand it's an on-card rookie, national treasures, the whole nine. But it's horizontal, and it's a glove patch. It was not graded uh, when when I traded it. And so to be able to trade into four very uh, liquid graded cards to me was a no-brainer. I'm glad I did it. Uh, now I still have two of those cards remaining from that trade. I still have this neon green pulsar herbert which i know a lot of the hobby um you know poo poos on these green pulsars but the fact of the matter is is this is a pop i think nine or something i mean it's super low pop so in terms of like low pop something that's not going to keep going to market and something that's not going to have some downward pressure right on the price because it keeps being sold and sold and sold um, these neon green pulsars typically just don't either they don't grade well I mean I don't or they're just short print people don't know it I don't know it's not numbered but the pop count is super low. it's a beautiful card too I really like it so still have that it's the only Herbert I have left I used to have a lot more traded them we'll get into that in the next video and then I still have this. Now, this is the only Tatum I have left as well. I used to have a lot of nice Tatum. As a matter of fact, I just sold a blue ice. Um, and I'll get into what I had to trade for that. That's interesting. But uh, at this point, this is the only Tatum I have left. Uh, it matches my white sparkle optic Luca. So it's kind of cool to be able to keep this. And then I have these two cards out just because these are cards that came out of the other two cards that I got in that deal so um, this I acquired for the Josh Allen green crystals to 75 it's a non-auto PSA 10 I gave that and a blue light blue Herbert PSA 10 prism uh, for this which is a Bobby Witt first Bowman color match blue um, which was super excited to get into this was my first one uh, the blue Bobby Witts. I now have three, but uh, this was my first one. And then I traded the Josh Allen contenders straight up for this Deshaun Watson camo auto out of 9.5. Uh, his career is back on track. He's going to start this weekend. So all of us that have held and waited on Deshaun Watson are finally going to be rewarded at least by seeing him back on the field and this has potential to be a big card but uh thanks for hanging in there with me i appreciate it uh if you have any questions obviously ask them below and i'll i'd be glad to to answer them for you um we'll get into this 
I got a lot of big trade. I got a Luca Tiger Prism trade to talk about. I got a Jason Tatum Blue Ice to talk about. I got some Pat Mahomes field level select silvers. I got a bunch more trades. I got this. This poor man's color match Luca, the fast break blue to talk about tomorrow. I've got a lot more to get into, so uh, stick around. Stay tuned for that. But thanks again for watching today. Take care and brush your hair. We'll see you on the next one.